He lowered his head and ignoring her uneasiness and fear, brushed his thin lips past her jawline, making her tremble profusely. Her body became more sensitive to his invasion. Yan Shishi's breathing became ragged. Unconsciously, she reached out and grasped his large hands to try and stop his invasion. The men seemed to have perceived her thoughts. Grabbing her hands, he tied them up with ease and lifted them high above her head. She was even more frightened. Her heart was constantly resisting, but it was to no avail. Her entire body trembled from utter fear, yet she had no way to refuse him. Yun Shishi shrunk her shoulders in an attempt to dodge him, but little did she know that the unintentional contact made the man's body temperature rise and become scalding hot. The man sucked in a breath of cold air. He actually almost went out of control. This girl was truly very attractive. He could not believe that he nearly lost himself. Yun Shishi was shocked at the overly intimate move and tried to shrivel her shoulders further. She instinctively pushed him away. Don't. He ignored her little resistance. Yun Shishi exclaimed. Subconsciously squirming around, she incessantly pushed his chest away. However, he merely grabbed her wrists tightly. To prevent her from resisting any longer, he took off the last thing in his way. Yun Shishi was breathless when she realized what was about to happen. She tried to refuse his touch as her body continuously sank. How she wished she could hide away in a world where he could not enter. His dominance seemed to have scared her really badly. No, don't. Don't. Muyaja felt dissatisfied with her resistance. He slowly raised his eyes and held her chin with his hand. Under the dim moonlight, his eyes dropped down to look at her bashful face. He asked coldly, What? You don't want this. Yun Shishi tensed up and pursed her lips. He squinted his eyes and mercilessly rubbed her lips with his thumb. Woman, you know what you have to do by coming here, right? Her expression suddenly hardened as her body continuously quivered. She was uncertain whether it was because of the pain or fear of his callousness. Staying silent for a long time, her almost hoarse voice let out broken sobs. I, I know. Then, do you still need me to tell you what to do? His straight eyebrows twitched as his ice-cold voice asked this. Yun Shishi bit on her lower lip hard as her eyes welled up. She then felt a string of moisture flowing into the slit in her lips and her mouth was filled with the taste of bitterness. She knew that they were just going by the contract. They were not in a relationship with each other, so any form of intimacy was established by the contract and nothing else. Still, no matter what, she was not going to bear with this humiliation. Mu Yaja gave her a cold smirk. He was not intending to give her any more time to get used to him. Binding her hands, he shoved them to the top of her head. The corners of his mouth curled into a nearly cruel smile. Your mouth, open it. Yan Shishi's facial expression gradually went numb. She then slowly shut her eyes in despair. Her arms circled his shoulders with difficulty and she buried her face into his neck. In that moment, she knew that she had already crossed over into the depths of sin. The man was satisfied with her surrender and abruptly delved in at one fell swoop. Breaking that layer of boundary was such a vivid sensation. Gritting her teeth, Yan Shishi endured. Her voice was hoarse. She inhaled in the cool air as she tried to withstand the excruciating pain. Her body became as stiff as a stone and was no longer able to move. It was a jet of something unfamiliar and strange, as if it was ripping her apart. In that instant, her vision almost went black and she nearly passed out from the pain. His everything was too much for her to withstand.